common question we receive or when we talk about insurance planning with clients or insurance needs is just not just when somebody might need additional insurance, perhaps, as you know, but also thinking about when should we have even the current policies that we recently obtained or, or had for a long time? You know, at what point in life should those be reviewed? That's a great question, Mark, because I think what people don't realize is insurance policies are dynamic, right? There's moving parts within them. It's not a kind of thing that you buy it, put it in the, the shelf, and you forget about it for the next 30 years. And that's what's happened a lot because there's assumptions in what's gonna happen with the cash value, how it's gonna grow, all those kind of things. Our recommendation is at least every two years, if you have a permanent life insurance policy. And the reason for that is because there's growth assumptions that are, that are assumed within that policy to make it last. And as you all know, interest rates have gone down so a lot of those assumed performances are much less than what was expected. The expectations are not, it's not there. Um, and there's variable policies that have, you know, mutual funds driving the cash value. Well, obviously that can go up and down and performance, you know, obviously is continually adjusted. So I would say at least semi-annually, but the other caveat I would add is the doing it, doing a review the right way, meaning getting in force illustrations that you purposefully are looking for to see about performance versus just whatever the company will send you, right? And that's the easy way out is they send something to you and you look and say, cash, there's cash value in my policy, everything looks great. You wanna get in force illustrations that say, um, will this policy last to age 100, to age 105? So you can really see how is it performing in a perfect world, you'd have the as sold illustration or what we expect it to do, and then an enforced illustration, and you're comparing the two. And that's what our platform is about, is we have a benchmark illustration, and then we're always comparing how are we performing to the original expectations. And sometimes you have to adjust. Sometimes you need to add more money. Sometimes you've overpaid. You know, there's, there's ways you can adjust and fix the problem really easily when you catch it. Mm -hmm. 